Hey, what's up guys? Sam from BSG Tech with another short video and today we are going to do a short review about Apple's second generation iPad 2. Almost nine years in the market, this iPad was one of the first devices to have IPS display, uh, a 9.7 inch screen size, 512 MB of RAM uh, with the three variants available in 16, 32 and uh, 64 GB of built-in storage as well as cellular options. Uh, this iPad uh, comes with uh, uh, an old style 30 pin charger and uh, you can download iOS 9.3.5. Today we are going to download a few apps and games and also we are going to have a short comparison about how this iPad is behaving and working in 2020 and if you can grab uh, maximum out of this iPad and uh, will this bring value to your money. So. If you're new to channel guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon button so you get all the latest notifications directly to your inbox guys as you know that this ipad has been in the market for almost nine years the first and the foremost question is how to download the apps and if you try will they work on this ipad uh, so as you can see we are on uh, the app store and uh, we will try to download few apps First of all, we'll try to download uh, the Facebook app and see if this app is still compatible. Before I do that, let me show you that uh, we still have iOS 9.3.5, which was the final release by Apple on this device. Uh, almost four years uh, since they stopped rolling uh, the online updates. Uh, so you will no longer be able to receive further updates after 9.3.5. Uh, so uh, let's check uh, if we can download Facebook app. Uh, by the way, this app was already downloaded on my different device uh, using the same Apple ID. So when I click the cloud icon, it will tell me that uh, the app is no longer supported, but you can download the previous version. As you can see on the screen, uh, the compatible operating system required for uh, Facebook is uh, iOS 10. We have iOS 9.3.5. So the App Store will download the last compatible version. Same goes for YouTube guys. If you are uh, facing this error that unable to purchase or unable to download, then you have to use uh, Apple ID and uh, download this app on a different device with the latest operating system. So it shows in your purchase section. Then you have to go and sign in with your Apple ID in the purchase section and from there you have to click on the cloud icon next to the app as you can see on screen. This will basically show you that uh, do you want to download the last compatible version. If you click download this will automatically download YouTube and that goes to all other applications. Uh, if you want to download Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube Studio, few games and uh, uh, older compatible uh, apps. So moving forward guys, uh, let's check uh, the internet uh, compatibility with uh, this device uh, with the presence of uh, 512 MB RAM which is apparently like very less. Uh, we will try to open few web pages with uh, Java links and see that the flash is uh, how the flash is handled on this device. We have opened the uh, GSM Arena website and as you can see that uh, there's a bit lag when we scroll down up and down but obviously uh, it's the first time we have loaded and launched this page and uh, as soon as the device will settle down and the page optimization is properly processed uh, you should have uh, more comfortable scrolling and uh, uh, the overall uh, web browsing uh, optimization should be decent uh, you can't expect to have like a super fast processor on uh, such kind of devices with a uh, very low uh, amount of RAM but uh, this will still perform well as you can see that uh, flash is still working. So guys uh, talking about the YouTube app uh, they this can uh, still play 1080p uh, uh, with the full screen option and uh, although it's a 720p uh, quality IPS display iPad with a 9.7 inch of screen size but uh, you can still play uh, the HD videos and the quality is not that bad as you can see guys that uh, the quality I can show you from here it apparently shows that uh, you can play uh, 1080p but uh, that's the max resolution supported on this device is 720p the guys are uh, talking about the games optimization on iPad 2 it's uh, fairly comfortable uh, once the games are uh, settled down and uh, you start playing them you'll get used to with that and uh, uh, I didn't find any lag with uh, the mainstream games. Just this uh, Subway Surfer uh, I played like for a few minutes and it didn't find even a single 
spot where uh, the iPad was stuck or held for a second. Uh, the optimization is smooth. Most 3D games they work well, uh, but uh, when it comes to the arcade games, you might find a bit lag, and uh, uh, the iPad will automatically slow down because that requires a lot of RAM, and the RAM consumption on this device will. Uh, will be much higher when you download and play arcade games since this iPad is 11 years old and uh, it has a lot of drawbacks uh, There are some plus points as well. The battery life is the main question on this screen size is fairly reasonable uh, Plenty of options available in this device for the price you pay you get what you paid for uh, the battery life is uh, extremely great and uh, you'll be very satisfied with the battery life. This iPad still hold good charge and you can easily bypass uh, 3 to 5 working days with one full charge and you'll be very surprised to see that uh, the battery is still doing great on these devices as compared to the newer hardware. Yes, it's bulky, it's heavy but it does the job. Uh, standby can uh, easily bypass 5 to 7 working days. So guys that was it for today's short video about uh, Apple's second generation iPad 2. Despite the lack of uh, RAM on uh, this iPad you can still download games and uh, uh, use uh, web browsing on this device. Uh, games and apps they are still working on this iPad you can download uh, uh, the compatible apps as I've shown you in the video and uh, YouTube works fine, Facebook works fine, uh, email and messenger works fine. Yes it's slow but uh, you get what you paid for and uh, you can still grab a lot of value out of this device. It's good for kids and it's good for your traveling purposes and needs and this will serve you better. If you have any feedback or comments, uh, don't forget to leave in the comment section below and don't forget to share your own experience if you are still using this iPad in 2020. Stay safe guys, uh, take good care of yourself. I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, bye bye.